Martin, and Jane and I are going to show you how to make the Minnetonka Community Ed money, a Mother's Day mini kit for kids. So you can give it to your grandmas, your moms, or I guess if you've made it for yourself, that's great too. So I'm going to tell Jane what the steps are, and Jane is going to make the arrangement. So you get to design right along with Jane. Are you ready? Okay. So first, what I want you to do is have a grown-up help you get some water. We're going to need quite a bit of water to fill this little vase. The fun thing about this vase, and Jane didn't do it yet, but this is just a plain old white vase. It's not just a vase. It's a flower pot. So when your arrangement dies, you can plant a flower in here. You can also color on this white vase with permanent marker or you could try crayon too, but we haven't done that yet. We're going to do that later after our arrangement dies. So the first thing I want you to do is with your kit, you've got this little thing of like kind of like a putty and it was attached to your flower food like this. What I want you to do is I want you to take that putty. And you're going to peel it off the paper. And you see that hole down inside your pot? Can you make a little ball? Turn that, make that into a little ball. Yep. Don't get it too goo with your hand. Try to just get into a really quick ball. Don't roll it around too much. We don't want to get your skin on it. Okay, make it a ball. And now see the hole in the bottom of your pot? Can you shove that wad of putty? What if it doesn't work? It will, I promise. Okay, that's enough. You don't want to play with it too much or it'll get too much finger grease on it. Now you might need to ask a grown up for help because we have to make sure that this putty gets way deep down in that hole. If it doesn't get deep down in the hole, the water is going to leak out and it's going to make a big mess. Do you want me to double check it for you, Jane, to make sure it's really good and in there? Yeah. So I'm just making sure that putty gets way down in that hole and seals it in so it's waterproof. So when your arrangement dies, we can pull that putty out, throw the putty away, and plant a flower in our pot or a house plant. Okay, so now, Jane, do you want to pour the water in or would you like me to do that? Do you want to do it? Okay, so we can use the flower food if we want to, or we can save it for later. Save it for later. All right. If we feel like our flowers are looking sad, we can add flower food later. So we're going to fill this. See this line? There's a line on the inside of your pot. Mm -hmm. We're going to fill the water up to that line. Okay. So this water is just room temperature water, straight from the tap, nothing in it. Good job. Perfect. I'm going to set that water aside. Okay, the next thing we need, what do we need to cut our flowers? Flower clips. So we have a lot of flower clips because we do this a lot. Not every family has a lot of flower clips. The thing to look for are two knife edges. These are very, very sharp. Try to find a grown-up to help you if you're worried about using them. You can also use a scissors. They're not the best thing to use because what the scissors does, what does it do to the flower? Remember? Cut it. It pinches it shut, and then the flower might not be able to bring, drink up any water because it's pinched shut. We want to try to find the sharpest shears that we have. You're going to use that little one? It was open, wasn't it? There we go. If you don't have a flower shears, you could try to use a gardening pruner. This will work too. Um, we just want to make sure we're using the sharp edge to cut the flower and not pinch it shut. And in the instructions that I'm sending home with you, your parents can look at them with you or your grandparents, whoever you're doing this with. And they can show you how to use a bypass pruner. But we're going to use this flower clip. You can get these at the hardware store. You can get them at Tonkadale. You can get them at Bachman's. You can order them on Amazon. They're floral snips or floral shears not scissors. All right, should we open our flowers and see what we get to play with today? I cut We're it? not gonna use our flower shears to cut paper. Those are only for flowers, but we can use our scissors. Can I use it? 
Can I do it so we don't accidentally cut the flowers? You could also rip it open. Ooh. Like Christmas. Mm -hmm. Or birthdays. All right. So first, let's look to see what we have. Should we see what we have in our little bouquet? What do we have? Do you remember what these things are called? That's called a ranunculus. This is a ranunculus. Everybody's flowers might look a little different. Some of you might have ranunculus that are orange. These are white. Then we have, we have some of these growing outside. These are called daffodils. Again, some are yellow, some are white. Everybody's bouquet is gonna look a little bit different. We have two daffodils. This is called a hyacinth. So again, we're all gonna have different colors. Jane gets to use a white one. You might have a purple one or a blue one, but this is a white hyacinth. Does it smell good? Holy moly, that's smelly, isn't it? There's another ranunculus. So there's, those don't smell, but you can try. I smell. Yeah. We have three tulips. Ooh. Ooh. We have three snapdragons. We have oh, a bunch. This is called Bupleurum. But around mm -hmm. here in Minnesota, we call it Lady's Mantle. What do you think? Because it kind of looks like it's a mantle. The top of your head. Or hang on the fireplace. And then we have Feverfew, which is this little flower that looks like little tiny little daisies. You like those? I like this. That is an umbrella fern. Okay, that's cool. Okay. I like this. So you should have <laughs> the same amount of things that we have. Your colors might just be a little bit different. So if you're looking for your tulips, you might have pink, you might have purple, you might have white, you might have yellow, all the different colors. There's so many different color bouquets that you guys get to choose from. Again, you'll either have white ranunculus or orange ranunculus, and then you'll either have yellow or white daffodils. And then the snapdragons will be either pink, yellow, or white as well. So are you ready to start arranging? Yes. Do you remember from our floral arranging what we do first? What, which of these things do we use first? We use greens. You know why we start with our greens? Yeah. We start with our greens because they help us create the shape of our flower arrangement. So Jane, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to decide how long you need to cut these to stick them in the vase. What do you think? Is it too little? What if we cut right here? If we cut right above that little stem, look at you can still put that in the arrangement. Now we want to cut the bottom of each stem a little bit. Add an we, angle. Yep, add an angle before we put it in our vase. Make sure there's no leaves that go below the water line. Do you Why? want to try cutting? Because the leaves introduce bacteria. Do you guys know what bacteria is? No. It's like icky stuff in water that, that makes a plant die. We don't want to do that. We don't want to have bacteria. Yep, let's rip that leaf off. Which leaf? This one. Do you want to cut this thing shorter? How big do you want your flower arrangement to be? I don't know. Well, let's, let's start with a little bit big. Okay, I'm gonna help you, okay? I'll cut them and you can put them in. Okay. What about this one? It's best if we cut all the greens first. Okay? Maybe that's just a little shorter. You can cut that a little shorter. Would you like me to cut it a little shorter? I don't want it so, so tall. All right. We're gonna do all of our greenery first. Look at all this greenery here. Oh! It's okay. Might need a bigger space to work. We can move some of this around. So we always start with our greenery. So if you were taking stuff cutting. from outside, I can cut it. Yep. If we're taking stuff from outside, you'd always want to start with your greens first. If you're using hosta leaves or some blooming mm -hmm. branches. Or, like this. Yep. Just remember that don't cut things from outside unless you unless a grown up tells you it's okay. Because we wouldn't want to be accidentally cutting from the neighbor's yard. So, now some of these are getting a little short and they might disappear at the bottom of our vase, right? 
to keep them a little bit longer, like that. Yeah. I'm gonna keep showing out. That's okay. They'll start catching on each other and they'll hold each other in. What about this one? You can use that one. So Janie and I are gonna go just all the way around <clears throat> with our our purpurum, our ladies mantle. Very good. Yep, we don't want any leaves below the water. It'll be fine. No, you have to wait. I'm kind of trying to create a little knot in the middle with all these stems. Okay. All right, a little bit more. Yes. Can I do this? Yep. These are a little too long, so we're going to cut them a little bit shorter. Still stuck. Uh oh, getting tangled. Yep. Is this too short? Nope, it'll be okay. Let's just make sure there's no leaves that go below the water. Okay. you need to pause the video anytime you can and then you can catch up with us. So now we have all the pupillarum in here. So if you need to take a break, you can take a break right now. Okay, next. 